What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back, baby. Boof. Hey, family. How's it going? All right. So something's been on my um, mind now that we are in November. Huh? Anywho, so now, low-income families, my homeless families, middle-class families, listen up. Reach out to your resources right now. Pull up to five counties of resources and start looking at you guys already know holidays are around the corner please do not wait reach out to to your churches your resources within the community thanksgiving is coming during this time a lot of organizations nonprofit organizations hand out thanksgiving meals free jackets to your kids if you need if you have kids or for yourself gas cards, gift cards to help you out for the holiday. Not only that, you may want to ask them, okay, hey, what is you guys' Christmas looking like? Do I have to sign up now? Because some of these organizations start signing families up in the month of November. Jump on it ASAP. If you're facing homelessness, now is the time to pick up the what? The phone, boo, and say, listen, I'm facing homelessness, blah, 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 maybe 211, maybe a local Catholic community service, Salvation Army, maybe some of your churches near you and your county. Pick up the phone and say, listen, this is my situation. Whatever the case may be, no kids with kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man or woman. You see what I'm saying? Like, it does not matter. But <clears throat> holidays are coming up, okay? Salvation Army is a big organization that likes to help out families reach out to your food banks reach out to your churches if you're struggling with the holidays right around the corner please do not what please don't wait around do not don't play with me don't give me no excuses do not wait around you know what i mean don't wait around and listen i've heard this too i'm too scared to ask for help D You've got to be kidding me. You know what I mean? Don't be shy or I'm so scared to stand out in the food bank line. Listen, most of these people are volunteers. Most of these people have been in a hard situation in their lifetime. Most of these people love to help out people who would love to receive the help. Push your pride to the side, boo. And enjoy what others are trying to do for you and your family. Because sometimes it's not all about, I'm too prideful, I, I'm this, I'm that, I don't want to do it. And you go in with the beanie on and sunglasses on with a leather jacket all the way down to your ankles. You know what I mean? Don't! <laughs> y'all kill me, y'all kill me. But on the best attitude you can possibly put on, say, yo, this is what's happening. I'm on a tight budget. There's no way I'm going to be able to make my snap or EBT or if you get it. Last for the whole month, I need help with Thanksgiving meals. Please, please and thank you. It would be so much appreciative. If they can't help you, they will They will refer you to somebody else. Somebody knows something. Just pick up the phone. Look at your resources. Okay? Listen. Low-income families, homeless families, transitional families, middle-class families. You know you're going to be on a tight budget for holiday gifts. Pick up the phone. Ask for help. That's why we have resources out here. Reach out to your community. I know it, it sounds all too good. You have to put in the work, okay? Connect with people, network with people. Go to your neighborhood church. You may not be religious. You may, that's okay too. Push your pride to the side. If you can save a little bit of money this holiday season, and it goes towards your bills and you're reaching out to your resources, why don't you pick up the phone? What? Go in person if you have to. Connect with people. Reach out. That's why these resources are put in place within your county to help with families like you. Sometimes they may have a household bracket. You could make like, let's say family of four, you can make up to like 60 grand or whatever. Go through the qualifications of it. Someone will sit down and help you out. Like, don't be, <laughs> don't be scared. You know what I mean? Don't be scared. Don't be, don't be none of that. Don't, don't be none of that. Um, if you can, 
let's say you're not in a, a, a situation where uh, homelessness or transitional program you're not in or um, you are doing really well for yourself. Don't be afraid to reach out and volunteer for these holiday seasons. You know what I mean? Because everybody is facing some different journey in their life, right? And put a smile on your face, best attitude you can possibly put on. I know you already do, but it feels really good to reach out to the community and give back to the community, just like it feels really great if you're living in a situation that it's it's tight, you can reach out to your community and your community will help you. That And you pay it forward by being grateful, blessed, maybe a thank you card or whatever the case may be. And you refer others that are hitting a hard time. If you know somebody who's hitting a hard time, it could be your neighbor. It could be a classmate. It could be your coworker. It could be a family member. It could be somebody on your social media. You could reach out and say, yo, listen up. This is what I've learned. Reach, reach out to your resources within your community. They would love to help you out. You know what I mean? Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Anyway, I know it's a different back, a background or whatever, but we're going to be doing some more um, tips and tricks and videos. I like to dive in real deep. I may take you guys with me to show you what this local church does for families who need Thanksgiving meals and all of that. And they, they pass out gift cards and thank you cards. And sometimes it is limited, but they hit a certain amount of families every year. And sometimes throughout the year, most of the time it's throughout the year. And um, it feels it feels really great, and it's a great it's a great journey. It's a good learning tool. Listen up. When I was a kid, I was told all types of shit. Okay. When I needed the help, I had no idea how much help was within the community until I started putting the reps in for me and my family when we were hitting hard times. Okay, I was blown away. I was blown away. Anyways, don't be afraid to reach out. Holla. <laughs>